so hip joint hip joint is a synovial type of joint it is a ball and socket joint and what are the articular surface so articular surface there are lateral articular surface and the medial articular surface the lateral articular surface is formed by the head of the femur and the medial articular surface is formed by the the acetabulum so first coming to the medial articular surface so this is the medial articular surface consisting of the acetabulum this is the acetabulum this is the acetabular surface okay so this is the acetabular surface which is a horseshoe sur surface and it is it is known as the lunate surface so it is the lunate surface which is a horseshoe shaped lunate surface and along the acetabular surface there is a notch so this is the acetabular notch and there is a acetabular fossa so this is the acetabular fossa which is connected to the fovea cavities of the femur head of the femur so this is the acetabular fossa this is the acetabular notch okay now coming to the uh, <coughs> the ligaments which are attached first there is a there is a hyaline cartilage so this is the hyaline cartilage the red one which is surrounding the acetabular surface the lunate surface except the acetabular notch and the acetabular fossa so this is the hyaline cartilage now coming to the acetabular labrum so acetabular labrum is totally covered and close the acetabular acetabular lunate surface along with the acetabular notch and the acetabular fossa all are covered by the acetabular labrum inside the acetabular labrum there is a capsule so there is a capsular surface a capsule and this capsular surface is uh, entirely inner lined by synovial membrane okay synovial membrane and now coming to the ligaments which is attached to the acetabular acetabular fossa so first there is a transverse ligament so this is a transverse ligament between the two lunate surface end there is a transverse ligament and <clears throat> this transverse ligament transverse acetabular ligament is a not a part of the hyaline cartilage so hyaline cartilage does not include this transverse ligament and another ligament which is known as the this this one is the ligament of the head of the femur or the ligamentum teres femoris or the round ligament is the triangular type of ligament which is whose base is attached with the transverse ligament and a triangular type of ligament whose apex is attached to the fovea cavities that is the head of the femur and it is known as the ligament of the head of the femur below this transverse acetabular ligament there lies the acetabular artery vein and nerve that is the branch of the medial circumflex femoral artery and the obturator artery so these artery and vessels passes through this uh, be, below this transverse acetabular ligament and supply to the acetabular cavity now coming to the lateral surface this lateral surface is basically formed by the head of the femur so this is the greater trochanter this is the lesser trochanter this is the intertrochanteric line so this is the fovea cavities so it is again covered by a it is again covered by the the hyaline cartilage the the capsular ligament is also attached so the capsular ligament is attached along with the greater uh, the intertrochanteric line so so it entirely covers the intertrochanteric line and the neck of the femur and the intertrochanteric cast okay now what about the capsular ligament it is one centimeter medial to the intertrochanteric cast and internally lined by the synovial membrane which covers the round ligament the acetabular fossa and the acetabular lab labra it is actually a joint it is between the joint and the iliopsoas tendon and there is forming a swas barsa posteriorly so there is a swas barsa which is formed between the joint and the iliopsoas tendon so about the capsular ligament it is a two types of ligaments fibers are attached in centrally there is a 
zona orbicularis that is the circular fibers is attached and and periphery there is a longitudinal fibers uh, attached that is the superior fibers which are longitudinal fibers which are attached now <coughs> these are the retinacula so the retinaculas through in between the retinaculas there lies the branches of the superior gluteal artery inferior gluteal artery and medial and lateral circumflex artery femoral artery and its branch ascending branch so these all lies in between the retinacula of the lung fibers so this is about the capsular ligament and other ligaments which are attached are the anterior there is a iliofemoral ligament which is also known as the ligament this is of bigelow ligament of bigelow which is the strongest ligament is the iliofemoral ligament it is the inverted y-shaped ligament attached from the anterior inferior iliac spine anterior inferior iliac spine and it is the inverted y-shaped so it has two bands the two bands are attached to the intertrochanteric the intertrochanteric line the two bands are attached are into the intertrochanteric line so it is about ligament of, of bigelow and there is a pubofibular ligament in the pubofemoral ligament from the that means from the pubis so is iliopubic is eminence or the obturator crest it is coming and it attached again to the uh, lower border of the ligament of bigelow so in the femur that is the intertrochanteric line and posteriorly there is a ischio femoral ligament from the ischium to the greater trochanter it is attached posteriorly to give the adjacent support to the hip joint okay so this is all about the hip joint now coming to the uh, relations of the hip joint so uh, relations of the hip joint is this is the swas bursa okay so if it, this is the swas bursa which is present between the joint and the iliosoas tendon so this is the iliosoas muscle so above this it will be the sartorius muscle and the rectus femoris so it is the anterior view sartorius and the rectus femoris there will be tensor la fascia lata here it will be the gluteus medius this is the gluteus minimus this is the gluteus medius and this is the gluteus maximus posteriorly in the lat medially it is the uh, there is this is the one muscle which is known as the piriformis and there is superior gemellus inferior gemellus along with the obturators interna so this is superior gemellus inferior gemellus and obturators interna there is quadratus femoris also this is the quadratus femoris muscle this is the hamstring muscle this is the hamstring group of muscle this is the adductor magnus this is this is the adductor brevis this is the adductor brevis this is the adductor magnus this is obturators externa so these are laterally obturators externa this is the gracilis muscle this is the adductor longus muscle gracilis adductor longus muscle okay and it is the pectineus muscle so these all forms the relation of the hip joint now coming to the movement so there is movements like flexion extension abduction adduction medial rotation lateral rotation and circumduction that is the combination of all these so flexion and extension is along the transverse axis abduction and adduction is along the anterior posterior axis medial rotation and lateral rotation is about the vertical axis so what are the muscles involved in the flexion iliopsoas rectus femoris sartorius pectineus and the adductor longus so all the anterior group of blood muscles so all the anterior group of muscles that is the iliopsoas pectineus sartorius the rectus femoris pectineus and the adductor longus all the anterior group of muscles are, are the flexor group of muscle now coming to the extensor extensor are all the posterior group of muscles that is the gluteus maximus and the hamstring muscle so gluteus maximus and the hamstring muscle this is the hamstring muscle and the gluteus maximus together forms the posterior group of muscles. that is the extensor abduction is caused by gluteus minimus and medius and tensor fascia lata so tensor fascia lata so this is the tensor fascia lata gluteus minimus and gluteus medius all these causes the the 
abduction adduction is found by adductor longus adduction that means adductor longus adductor brevis adductor magnus pectineus and gracilis so these muscles pectineus gracilis adductor longus adductor magnus so all these causes the the inferior muscles are all causes the adduction now coming to the medial rotation medial rotation is caused by the gluteus medius minimus and tensor vessel latter that is same as the abduction and lateral rotation is caused by the pyriformis superior gemelli inferior gemelli gluteus maximus some part and it's the obstruated internus so these all causes the along with the pyriformis these all cause the along with the pyriformis these all cause the lateral rotation so these are the movement of the hip joint one clinical anatomy that is hip joint dislocation the posterior dislocation of the hip joint is most common so i have discussed about the hip joint dislocation in my lecture videos so kindly watch that thank you